Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. We look at shields, deaths, lasers, peasants, vassals. I'm a useful idiot, San. Welcome. And today I want to talk about Japan. And uh, holy shit. <laughs> they are on QE for, to infinity and beyond. It's really quite staggering. This announcement that they're going to uh, double, triple uh, the Q&E that uh, Japan has been doing for quite some time. In fact, they're the Mac Daddy of uh, uh, Q&E, uh, having started uh, Q&E essentially in 2001, and have uh, been doing it more or less ever since. And this is a country, Japan, has government debt that's 250% of GD GDP, and a total uh, debt to GDP ratio of 600%. And uh, so Bank of Japan has announced that they're going to triple their annual purchases of electronically traded funds, stocks, uh, and uh, property investment trusts. And um, the uh, J Japanese government bond ceiling has been raised from $267 billion to $713 billion. Staggering, staggering figures. And then uh, if that wasn't enough, uh, we have uh, Japan's public pension fund, uh, which uh, handles $1.2 trillion, is also going to move out of uh, Japanese bonds and move into purchases of global stocks and electronically traded funds. So first of all, once again, we have uh, uh, Japan's public pension fund banking on uh, stock markets um, continuing to climb, and uh, it certainly seems that way in the, in the short run uh, for now, but uh, for them to invest heavily in stocks and, and move out of bonds, but <laughs> no, I can't necessarily say that Japanese bonds are a good place for them to be. So we see the the uh, Japanese stock market skyrocketing and the yen plunging. And uh, there's a bit of a background, too, of this, uh, how this has affected their economy. And um, but I'll get to that in a minute. First of all, let's talk about some of the other facts that we have here. So we have nearly 30 years of, uh, of, of government stimulus going on here. And right now, this, uh, as I pointed out, this uh, move has generated a, a front-running uh, frenzy, a huge front-running frenzy. But uh, I, what I find most interesting about this, of course, is that uh, here we have uh, the J Japan announcing this uh, right as uh, the Federal Reserve of the United States um, announces that uh, tapering will end. And, and not uh, and to add to the strange coincidence is the fact that the Federal Reserve is uh, tapering off this uh, uh, program of, of theirs while uh, Japan uh, uh, substantially increases theirs. So very, very conveniently uh, sort of picking up some of the slack uh, that uh, the Federal Reserve has created now. So seemingly more than a coincidence. But uh, this is proof of a massive global bubble uh, Japan now has a massive bond bubble. There's, I've read some articles where they're suggesting that that, that uh, the Bank of Japan is buying 100 and, uh, over 100 percent of uh, government bonds now. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how over 100 percent works, but if anybody knows, uh, please add in the comments below. And uh, so the, the the whole idea has been to create this target inflation rate of two percent. Uh, to basically dig themselves out of this debt hole um, and, and keep uh, assets running high there. But the problem is that uh, the uh, uh, deflation that they're trying to fight is is not the problem. It's merely a symptom of other problems in the Japanese economy. And certainly one of the things we have going on in the Japanese economy is uh, this uh, expectation of continued growth when they have a very uh, aging population and the, the debt to tax ratio um, is uh, widening considerably and uh, so that's that's going to be a problem too there's going to be uh, less people paying taxes and their tax revenues are going to drop uh, right when they need it and uh, certainly the economy is not going to sustain quite the same way uh, with this aging population that's not that's not being replaced I might add and uh, and so we have uh, this April uh, sales tax increase, um, which is taking a huge chunk out of the Japanese economy for now, and I think in the long run it will uh, continue to do the same. 
Um, so let's go through some other uh, gruesome figures. Uh, of course, J Japan is, uh, since the uh, 1989 financial bubble burst, uh, they've had QE in 2001, they've had uh, QE in 2010, they've had QE in 2013, and now they have QE 2014. Massive uh, uh, monetizing debt on a huge scale, and of course, all the while uh, saying they're not monetizing debt, which is what they're doing. And, and unfortunately, this for Japan, and this could possibly be where uh, other countries end up heading to, including the Eurozone, uh, it, you end up uh, creating this endless demand for constant infusions. And uh, that's where Japan is finding themselves. And, and, and this current round is only going to create more a demand for more rounds of these uh, infusions. Um, of course, I'm no expert, so uh, who's to say uh, maybe um, uh, Kuroda is going to uh, 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 save the day. So uh, so anyway, and then some other uh, interesting figures, gruesome figures, like I was saying, is that 46% of the government's budget is borrowed money. So that uh, that even makes uh, Americans uh, American government look frugal by comparison. Um, a, a two to two to three percent rise in the interest rate would would completely absorb a uh, hundred percent of Japan's tax revenue. Um, that's how in debt Japan is. Uh, Fifty one percent of tax revenue now goes to service the debt. So 51 percent of all tax revenue in Japan goes to service the debt. Um, and even this uh, dependence on uh, some of these new taxes, like this national consumption tax from 5% to 8%, um, is uh, in the long term going to have uh, more and more diminished returns, once once again, because we have a, a, an aging population. And uh, I have a, a, a friend in Japan. Hey, friend in Japan. Uh, you feel free to chime in uh, below. Of correcting all my uh, gross miscalculations and uh, speculations and uh, where I might be right or wrong. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so tax revenues are in decline and then on top of that we have Japan in the midst of what essentially is a slowing economy um, around the globe, uh, including uh, some of their trading partners. So. Uh, so anyway, that's, uh, that's where we are now and, and, and incredibly um, uh, Japan has had a lost decade and then another lost decade and they're going to work on yet another lost decade and uh, this is all despite uh, zero interest rates essentially and in, in Q&E um, and reinflation efforts that keep failing so let's uh, everybody uh, around the globe uh, take a look at what's going on in Japan at least try and uh, learn some uh, lessons here and uh, Japan has uh, slowly raised interest rates, um, but uh, it still hasn't changed the fact that uh, the Japanese stock market dropped about 50% uh, between 2007 and 2008 and uh, has barely uh, returned, although certainly got a, a, a sugar rush in the last few days from this uh, new move by the Bank of Japan. And uh, we uh, will have to keep our eyes open for other repercussions, including uh, currency wars, unleashing more currency wars. Um, we've seen this move before on other central bank announcements around the globe, um, and we can see the same thing in this case, uh, unleashing uh, more uh, uh, action uh, by other central banks. Certainly, we're expecting big things from the European Central Bank soon and uh, after the midterm elections in the first of the year uh, many uh, pundits are speculating that we're going to see a new round of QE in the United States which is certainly quite possible because the uh, stock market is uh, going through the roof but the rest of the recovery is, uh, the rest of the economy is bogged down in this uh, fake recovery and I want to finish with a quote from uh, Kuroda the uh, uh, governor of the Central Bank of Japan and this astonishing statement that's just icing on the cake for this new round of uh, an incredible increase in uh, Japan's uh, quantitative easing and uh, he said that quote the Central Bank won't hesitate to act again if needed pointing out that there's still room for additional measures unquote well you heard it here so there we have it the Bank of Japan 
uh, declares Bonsai. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.